Hey everybody, it's Brett for Top Ranger. How are y'all doing? Uh, I kind of set up a little uh, webcam thing here. I wanted to just shoot a real quick video, try a different format. First, I just want to say uh, it's the end of 2022. I just want to say a great, uh, a big thank you for everybody out there who has uh, been following me over the last couple of years. It's been, uh, I've had a lot of fun. Um, and I just really appreciate the sport, you know, it makes it makes it possible to keep going and have fun with it, you know, because that's really the most important thing. So thank you for your support. And we're going to keep going in 2023 and see what happens. OK, um, the reason I'm making this this short little video now is because um, I have I come across different things that I want to share with y you guys, but I was never quite sure how to do it. Um, I, I really don't like Instagram. Um, I really don't like Facebook. I just, I just sick of those things. I post videos up there because you have to, because you know that's where all the people are. But I don't want to do videos uh, like this and then post them there. I want to, I want to post them to uh, the Topo Ranger YouTube account because uh, that's just what I want to do. But as a, as a jump off, as a first, as a first uh, video, I just wanted to share a website with you that I came across the other day. I think it was in Google News. I came across it. It's a really, uh, it's just really a very interesting and fun website. Uh, it's geo, you know, geology, history related. If you want, it's called um, Asteroid Launcher, and this is it. And you can find it at Neil dot fun slash Asteroid Launcher dash. Oh, sorry, Asteroid dash Launcher, and I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that link in the description to this video. And ba basically what this site is, is uh, you have a map here of the whole world, right? And then you uh, have your asteroid launcher, which is here, which gives you these different kinds of, um, uh, I don't know, say metrics on these. Like, first off, you get to pick what kind of asteroid you want. You got iron asteroids, stone asteroids, carbon asteroids, comets. A gold asteroids and back to iron asteroids so just for this demonstration i'm going to go ahead and pick a gold asteroid because that sounds that sounds pretty cool right how's this light look is that better i don't want it to be too yellow oh, that's good All right and now how big do we want to make our asteroid let's uh well since this is a demonstration you know let's just go all out let's make this big uh Let's make it three quarters of a mile uh, in size and diameter. Okay. Now, what speed? Hmm. Let's see. They come in at different speeds. Let's make it fast. Uh, let's make it. Let's make it just a nice hundred thousand miles per hour. Okay. And then we got the impact angle, which is a forty-five. Um, let's let's increase that angle a little bit. 75 okay now we get to pick where we want to go now what um what what should we destroy here what, what what city what city should we destroy um um let's see um columbus ohio i hate to pick on ohio i don't have anything against ohio i've been through there it's cool uh okay um let's see um, no how about okay how about we'll just we'll just hit washington now the thing is you want to hit a city that's pretty big so we can actually get some impact here so i'm going to go here and i'm going to um hit washington right where it uh right there and that's it right so i'm going to pull away and this is what makes it interesting you Oh, no, I didn't, no, I didn't do that. I want to change it to there. There. Okay. Pull away so that you can get a better view here of the eastern seaboard. Because this is going to be, this is going to be a pretty big, uh, this is going to be a pretty big strike. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Ready? Launch asteroid. Oh. Yowza. Okay, so what you saw there was the asteroid, you know, hitting 
uh, Washington DC and then it and then it gives you right out it gives you these these stats right here so the the 30 the, the crater is 38 miles wide pretty big and then it gives you these stats down here an estimated 2.9 million people would be vaporized in the crater so right in here yeah you're pretty much instantly gone the crater is 0.65 miles deep over half a mile deep it's a very deep crater um, your asteroid impacted the ground at 99, uh, five, 99,501 miles per hour, which is fast, but we set it for a hundred thousand. So it's, uh, obviously it slowed down as it went through the atmosphere. It had the equivalent to three point, sorry, 3,946 gigatons of TNT. Uh, more energy was released than the last eruption of Yellowstone, an impact. This is the one that gets me when I when I use this when I use this website. Um, the impact, an impact this size, happens every fifteen million years. Okay, so in my mind, this is a pretty big uh, this is a pretty big impact, and fifteen million years is not that long in terms of geologic history. You know, fifteen million years is not that. That much so if a, if a, if, a, if a, an asteroid this size hits earth every 15 million years that's that's really that's in my mind i'm thinking that's really frequent all right then you get a fireball 63 mile wide fireball okay and we're gonna zoom out a little bit for this but look at this okay so the fire the fireball i think is right in the middle here but you see there's a big wide ring here where the fireball would extend where there's 50 percent fatalities okay so we're down to we're down into north carolina we're into upstate new york almost the whole way to erie almost all of west virginia is just in this giant 63 mile wide fireball an estimated 30 million three hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred ninety eight people would die from the fireball so you got people dying vaporizing in the crater and then you got people being burnt basically burned alive from uh the the fireball in addition you'd also get nine 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 and a half million people would receive third degree burns an estimated 14 pe million people would receive second degree burns that's probably people out here in the outer rim here clothes would catch on fire within 318 miles okay you're within 318 miles and you're walking and all of a sudden boom it gets so hot your clothes are on fire trees would catch fire within 420 miles of impact so i mean that's that's crazy to think that i mean that's just insane and not, not dead trees we're not talking about um dead trees we're talking about living live trees right okay Shockwave, 243 decibel shockwave, an estimated 4.3, or sorry, an, esti an estimated 5,343,442 people would die from the shockwave, okay? So we'll add those to the uh, fireball deaths and also the, um, the, the the instant vapor are vapor instantly vaporized people anyone within 188 miles would likely receive lung damage okay from the shock wave boom right anyone within 246 miles would likely have er, erupted uh, sorry ruptured eardrums so you could be 250 miles away and it would be boom and you know you're deaf you know you're deaf buildings would within 428 miles would collapse um so look and here's this this is a good graphic here right buildings collapse in this ring nine look i mean look at this okay so now we're again we're talking the shock wave which is the the, the the that pulse of energy moving through the air so this within this circle the first circle here this is the actual size of the crater you have 99 percent fatality so that means that where I am now in good old York County, Pennsylvania, I'd, I'd be dead. Everybody would be dead. In Lancaster, some a lot of Lancaster County, everybody would be dead. Um, everybody in Harrisburg would be dead. Charlottesville, you'd be dead. <laughs> you know, 
And then you get this outer ring here. You got people up in the Appalachians of West Virginia would have severe lung damage. And then you have this outer ring, eardrums ruptured. And then the next ring is buildings. So basically this, it just really gives you a, a very interesting visual way to kind of wrap your head around the, the power of these impacts. Okay, and then there's the wind speed. So the, the, the top wind speed would be, and I guess when wind speed would just be different than the shock wave, it would be wind. So you have the shock wave itself, and then you have the wind in addition to that. Peak wind speed would be 9,645 miles per hour. Okay, and it gives you, it gets you another graphic here. You can see there's the crater. Right. And then within this first circle, you're going to have 1000 mile per hour winds, 500 mile per hour winds. OK, and it goes this concentric circle out. Uh, trees knocked down, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles away. An estimated 19 million, almost 20 million people would die from the wind blast. OK, wind within 128 miles would be faster than storms on Jupiter. That's pretty cool. Homes within 209 miles would be completely leveled flattened within 373 it would feel like being inside an ef5 tornado so um nearly all trees within 200 614 miles would be knocked down okay now and in addition to all that other, to that lovely stuff you also would have an earthquake um now what i what i think they mean by this is not necessarily it it, it could either trigger an earthquake or just the force of it hitting the earth and shaking the earth, it itself would be an earthquake. Um, and this this uh, rather large asteroid, we targeted it at Washington, uh, would induce a 8.9 magnitude earthquake, which is pretty, it sounds to me like it's pretty, pretty big. An estimated 201,428 people would die from the earthquake. The earthquake could be felt as far away that's 369 miles, okay? So there's one more thing I want to do here, and we're going to do another one, because it also has this ability, uh, which I think is neat. Let's, oh, oh crap, hold on. So what we're going to do is, uh, um, we're going to go here, right? And we're going to launch that same, well, here, we're going to go here. Right, so we're gonna have the asteroid hit right out here, which is on the continental shelf here. You know, this is the continental shelf. Um, it's gonna hit right here, and it's we're gonna keep all those same, all those same uh, metrics, uh, all those same uh, stats. You know, it's gonna it's a gold asteroid. It's it's three quarters of a mile wide. It's going at a hundred thousand miles per hour. But when you when you when you drop it in water, it it also creates uh, stats for the, uh, uh, it creates, uh, information based upon the, the a tsunami that would be created. So first off, let's just launch this sucker. Whoa. Okay. So here we are. Here's a crater. It's how big the crater would be. All right now it'd be a little less deep than it was on the land. Like I'm assuming that's because the water put a little resistance up. Um, here's a Virginia peach, right? The crater is 0.6 miles deep on the sea floor. So uh, go through the water column, down to the bed of the floor, then you would have a 0.6 mile deep crater. The impact will create a 1.1 mile tall tsunami. Okay. 1.1 mile. One mile. A mile high tsunami. Okay. So imagine, you know, you're, <laughs> you're there. Uh, enjoying the beach uh, at a long, long one of the beaches here in Virginia Beach, and uh, you know, let's say in some some magical way, you would you wouldn't actually see the impact. You would just suddenly see the tsunami resulting from the impact. So you'd be you know sitting there, toes in the sand, and all of a sudden, over the horizon comes this mile high tsunami, and then the mile high tsunami just keeps on going, it hits land and it just keeps going because I mean, a lot of this land here is gonna be uh, low low level stuff. Yeah, this is all part of the coastal plain here. So there's not gonna be any mountains, there's nothing there. There's not gonna be anything here 
to stop this tsunami. Um, it impacted the water at 99,000 miles per hour. Again, uh, fireball, 24 million people would die. Uh, shockwave, just 246. Uh, 1.2 million people, see that? Yeah, that's the shockwave. I like how it does that. Uh, trees, the wind speed, I mean, look at that. That's just, anyway, this is just, this is, I think it's just a really cool um, site, and then it goes down the earthquake. So, um, check this out. It's uh, Astro, It's called Asteroid Launcher. You just type in Asteroid Launcher, in, you know, into a search engine, and it should take you right to it. But I will leave the HR, uh, I will leave the, uh, the link in the description to this video, okay? And once again, like I said before, thank you very much, everybody, for supporting me uh, this first two, three years, however long it's been. Uh, it's been a great journey. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun, and I'm going to continue on here. Um, and hopefully be able to cook up some interesting stuff for 2023, all right? As always, love having you along. This is Brett Fertoga Ranger, signing out.